Hi everyone. So today I'm working in my traveler's notebook. I have a picture of the girls and I when we went to the Bon Jovi concert, and I really wanted to document that. I grabbed some of these papers. Some of them are from Illustrated Faith, like that one is. And I really love the floral on the side of the paper. So I decided to fussy cut that out. And um, I want to brighten up the other side. I want to keep it kind of bright. So I find this Studio Calico paper that I really, really love. It kind of looks like it's painted on with some splatter on it. So I decide on going with that. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna um, set my picture. I do cut in between the flowers because I thought it would look pretty cool if the flowers went over my picture. And uh, I go for it. I'm just gonna start sticking things down. So now I want to layer my picture. I went through my scraps and grabbed what I thought I could use on this layout. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this vellum piece, so I just kind of tear the sides. I don't bother with um, making it perfect or cutting it with scissors. Uh, once I start adding that, I think I might stamp on the vellum piece. I like the look of stamping on vellum and I had just gotten this new stamp set from Feed Your Craft that had really cool looking cameras on it. So I thought once I figure out how I'm layering my picture, I'm going to stamp on that vellum piece. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I'm going through my embellishments. I find this Felicity Jane sheet that has a bunch of phrases and words. So um, I'm focused so much. <laughs> Obviously I've said this before, when I'm crafting, I just focus on certain things and don't notice others. And I could swear I read these memories or that's what I cut out, but after I was done with my layout, I noticed that it said this memories. And I was at the point where I glued everything down, like I went back and glued things down and um, decided, you know what, I don't care. I'm leaving it, I'm not changing it out. And I know a lot of people would probably go back and change it out and stuff, but not me. <laughs> I really don't care. It, it's kind of funny to me because I do it a lot. Anyways, moving on, I go ahead and stick down um, my bad grammar, this memories, and I will go through that stamp set again. And I find this little stamp, which is so cute, that says, we are here. So I stamp that out. So now that I cleaned up a little bit, I grab my stamps. I'm gonna be using these Kelly Perky and Feed Your Craft alphas stamps 
and um, I want to stamp out a girl's rock because obviously we were at the Bon Jovi concert and we rocked. I grab my Tim Holtz, add it behind my page so my stamp comes out pretty well. And I like how it turns out. It's not completely crisp and I like that because it kind of matches the page itself. So once I'm done stamping, I grab my little puffy stickers and go through them. I find this little one that says uh, sing, which works perfect. So I grab it, I stick it on my page. And then of course I will be stamping out the dates. And um, once I'm done with that, of course I will grab my crystal drops and add some yellow and pink ones or pink drops to my page. Um, this has become like a habit. I think I'm adding my crystal drops to every single page now. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm done with my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!